I'm gonna show you how we can build a really simple scraper to extract any email from any website. I get a lot of people reaching out to me with URLs they get from either Google Maps or LinkedIn, and they wanna be able to figure out how they can get the email off the website that they just scraped. So this video will show you just that. This is great if you wanna expand your email automation efforts and reach out to more local businesses. I have links to where you can get all the code down below. And also, if you wanna work with me in any kind of AI or automations project, Project, make sure to book a free time down in the description below. But anyway, let me show you how this works. So how this scraper works is I basically have this simple scrapey script here, which allows me to put in a website URL and then it will just pop out a list of emails. So I can go over to my Google CSV data with a bunch of Google Maps data here. So we can come on over to a website here. We'll grab the domain. I'll paste this into our start URL here and then I'll copy over the allowed domain right there. And if we give this a run, you can see it'll go through all of the connected domains to see if there is any emails. And then if it finds anything, it puts it in our little emails JSON here. So we can see we got this Susie email from her business right there. We can scrape basically any email from any website if it exists on their website. And you'll notice here, it doesn't even show the email on the first page. It's getting it from somewhere else on the website. So let's get into building this thing. I'm over on VS Code and we're gonna be using a series of Python libraries in order to get this to work. And the big one is going to be Scrape. Scrapey. Scrapey is quickly becoming one of my favorite Python libraries to scrape stuff off the internet. And this is what we're gonna be using to build our website scraper. To get started, let's head on over to ChatGPT and see if we can build out this scraper. So I'm gonna say, make me a simple Scrapey script to scrape any email off a URL and then put it in a JSON file. I'm on ChatGPT4 for this and we're just gonna send it. So Scrapey is very similar to other frameworks like Beautiful Soup or Selenium or Puppet here, a lot of the other stuff I talk about on my channel. But from my experience, Scrapey has been one of the fastest scrapers to use, especially when trying to crawl stuff on websites. So we're going to use this really simple scraper here. Um, but first, let's kind of follow the instructions in order to get this set up on our machine. So if we don't already have Python installed, first, we've got to make sure we have the, at least the latest version of Python over on the Python website here. And then we're going to want to make sure we install Scrapey with pip install Scrapey. Scrapey. So I'll just paste this in my VS Code terminal in here and it will download Scrapey for us. And in the meantime, we can come back over here and we need to make a new Scrapey project. So we could do Scrapey start project email underscore scraper. Awesome. So now I'll just come into here and we'll just paste in this here. And there we go. We have our new email scraper folder. So to get into this, we're going to CD email scraper and enter in there. So now we're inside of our folder and then then we have to navigate into our email scraper and into our spiders directory. So if we go into our email scraper folder here, our spiders directory is where we're going to put our web scrapers that we're going to run. We have to touch any of these other Python files unless it specifies us to. So we're going to want to put our new scraper inside of our spiders folder. So I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to copy this script for spiders.py and we should be all ready to go. If I come into here, I'll make a email underscore scraper dot pi. This will be a new Python file and we're all ready to go. Also, if you have Python installed on your computer, but you don't see the Python run tab up here or the Python files, make sure to install the Python extension over on the extensions tabs on the right here. You can grab it from right here and that'll allow you to run Python files inside of VS Code. So now we just need a website to test this out. For this, I'm gonna grab a website from a new example of my SaaS app, which you can get on the wait list down in the description below. We have this Google Maps business search here, which allows us to kind of search around on Google Maps here and we could pick out URLs we want to scrape. So I'm gonna come into Washington DC here for this example and we're gonna save this current map URL link right here and then we're gonna wanna enter in some keywords. I'm just gonna do lawn for this example, but you can obviously put in whatever kind of business you're looking to search for. You can also kind of add in a couple more URLs if you want. We'll do three for this example and then we could just search these three URLs. And if we head on over to our tasks here, we'll have a new Google Maps search right here for the time March 20th. You can see I've already done a couple already and this is still testing. If you're interested in using this tool, make sure to go sign up for the waitlist down in the description below. It's going to be released probably at the end of March here. I'm really excited for you guys to use it. If we give it a refresh here, you'll see we have 433 businesses we found. And we can just come into here down the CSV. So now if we open up this Google Maps data in Google Sheets here, you can see we got everything like the business ID, the city, the description, the Friday 
Friday hours, full address, latitude, longitude, Monday, the name, the phone number, the ID, the Google Maps link, the price rating, the review count, the Saturday, Sunday hours, what it's currently at right now, time zone, the types, the website, and the Wednesday hours as well. So it's all sorted by A to Z. And we also have the 434, including the header rows here for all of our leads. Awesome. We're going to use Michael's lawn service here because I noticed that they have a URL on their website that we're going to test out to make sure this works. Head on over to our scraper that we just built and then kind of put it in right here. And then I'm going to take the URL also and then put it in our allowed domains. Now we're going to be crawling for this URL to find any emails on this specific page here. What we can do from here is I'll make a new terminal and then I'll come over to ChatGPT and we need to run a specific script called scrapey crawl email underscore spider. And that will run our web scraper based off our name right here. So it's not by the file name, it's by the name right here. First, we gotta make sure we go into our email underscore scraper folder, and then we can run our scrapey crawl email underscore spider command. And that will go through, and hopefully if all goes well, I don't know if this printed the email file, I don't see any email data, so let's try to edit this a little bit more. I'm gonna say, okay, so it's gonna tell us to modify the script slightly to get our emails. And let's try this new one out instead. Scrapey raw email underscore spider. And there we go. We have our emails.json right here. And it looks like it gave us two different emails we can pick from on the page. So we wanna do a couple things to this. First, we wanna make sure we're not giving duplicate emails. So I'm gonna edit this more. I'm gonna say, can you make this so it won't give me duplicate emails? Just one if it finds multiple. And this will make sure we don't get more than one email right here because these are both the same email. So it looks like it's gonna add this emails found set here to make sure it's only unique variables and we can copy this over and let's give this a test. Email spider. And now we only have one email. Awesome, that's fantastic. So now what we wanna do is this. Let's say for instance, we go on this guy's website and his email's actually not on this website. A lot of the times they're on like the contact page or something like that. For instance, I found this law site here that doesn't have an email on the first page, but if we go over to contact, you'll notice there's actually an email on the contact page. But if we were to put in only this base URL into here, let's see what it will find. So if we just replace this and we put this in here, and then if we give this a run, we don't get any emails because there's no emails on the page. Let's take this and let's put this back into ChatGPT. And then we'll say, can you make this crawl every possible page to see if there's emails on the website? So you can kind of see here that Scrapey has this parse method here, which allows us to find all the links on the page and then it will go through all those links and then check to see if there's emails as well. So let's take our new code, slap this back in here and let's see if it fixes it. Scrapey crawl email underscore spider. You can see it's going through all of the different URLs on the page. One thing I do wanna mention is you gotta be careful that you don't go through too many URLs because if you do try to do too many requests on your own local machine, you could get IP blocked. So just make sure you're using proxy servers or something like that to make sure you're not wrecking your own internet. You can see it picked up the email right there. Look at that. Let's try with a couple more different URLs. I don't see any emails on this page, but maybe we can find some. We come into here and replace this URL. Give it a run. Look at that. We got longcaregallo at gmail.com right there. Awesome. Now, so I just ran this scraper from here and it printed out the emails right there. So maybe I'll probably just do that from now on here. Let's try a couple more. Cowboy cuts. If we want to get their email as well, give it a run. And we got three different emails here. Cowboy cuts, Rose and James. Look at that. As I mentioned before, I'll have a link down in the description below to where you can get all this code for free. So make sure you give this video a fat like and leave a comment. Let me know what kinds of things you want me to automate next. In the future, I'm going to be expanding on this script to scrape more websites and get more data to help you supercharge your business with AI and web scraping tools. But in the meantime, if you want to learn how to scrape LinkedIn profile URLs, you can check out this video here where I show you how to build a really simple scraper to scrape unlimited LinkedIn profile URLs for free. So I'll see you guys over there.